Hey guys, we're out on the square in Lawrenceville. Today we're taking a look at the new office. You guys have done a lot of work over the last two weeks and wanted to update you guys. We're up here on a Saturday morning, so the sun is hitting the front windows. We just refinished the front windows and they really look nice. This is the Sapili wood and um, we ended up adding some stain to it. So it sort of lost the shimmering that Sapili can get but you see a little bit of it in some of the pieces, like right in front of you, it, 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 um, it's called ribbing. What will happen is that uh, the pieces look like they're glowing and they're kind of doing that. It's just the stain darkened, darkened that contrast. We got a great mailbox here. I've got to go and refinish it. The sun is just brutal. So we added this canopy up top. This is our stainless steel canopy and it's got these little pin lights in it. I have not seen it at night. We don't have permanent power yet, but uh, these pin lights we put in a constellation pattern. Aquarius was it's my birth constellation, so I put Aquarius up there. Um, but yeah, I think I think the the windows really look nice. This is what the front of the building will look like now. We've got the guardrail up top, and then we have the old copper wood sills down at the bottom. And they really look nice. They're about 100 years old. This was super thick copper. And of course, these doors right here are about 100 years old too. We've got our Latin epigram up above the doors. I've got all the old hardware. It was from the 1930s. It's actually got some numbers on it. I'm waiting till the end to put that in. It's old brass, brass hardware. We do have some of the hinges up. These were the original hinges. You can see those, just really pretty neat. So here's inside the space. Again, it's Saturday, we don't have any of the lights on, but there's a pretty decent amount of natural daylight that comes through and we have all of the windows covered up. So uh, really looking forward to uncovering those and just seeing what the view's like. We've got a fantastic view upstairs and uh, it should be equally as nice from downstairs. Got our gargoyle right here on the right. Over the next two weeks, he should go up. I'll take some video of that. Of course, we're trying to restore this old brick. If you guys have followed the story, this brick wants to just come apart and uh, we've got five layers of sealer on it right now. I think I'm gonna end up putting another two or three before we're done. But we've got the old ceiling and the old ceiling really looks fantastic. There are some areas uh, through here that are super nice. I mean, just really, really nice. And then there are some areas where we had roof leaks. You can see right here, we're gonna have to infill around where the columns went through and I saved some of the old wood. We've been working a lot on the HVAC and electrical over the last month or so. We've got the duct work in. This is really our utility room that's doing the majority of work. So we've got two panels. We're gonna have the water heater and the control control boards. You can see we've already got some of the controls here for the lights. Got a really sophisticated lighting system and then um, our server and all that'll go in here. Everything's gonna be driven by an iPad. The, um, the iPads on the wall right here in front of you is a shelf that we made out of the reclaimed floorboards and that, um, that'll have my old stereo in it. And there's a shelf that'll go right here that'll keep all our albums. So this is the corridor down towards the restrooms. And the idea was that we wanted to touch the building very lightly. So we have this central form. And one of the cool details about this is we've got this tray down in the bottom. It's a little hard to see right now, but this tray will be filled with slate from the old slate uh, roof from the courthouse across the way. And that's gonna have up lights in it. So the up lights will shine on this brick wall and, and hopefully it'll just really create a nice, just a really nice, um, what am I trying to say? Shadows on the wall. So we got a restroom right here on the left. We're getting close to finishing that up. The ceilings are gonna kinda be kinda sorta low in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And once we get the windows up, we'll be able to put the Michael Graves blue siding on and then the gargoyle will go right here. You can see the three bolts for him. Really looking forward to that. If you guys haven't seen, we got a great video posted when it was raining, the water falling. So this is the Scarpa Fountain. 
Last week they did some work on the stairs. Really look fantastic. One of the things is, is seen from front to back. You can see right through these stairs to the front. Really looks nice. And then of course this is our back courtyard. We've got a lot of granite left over. I think what I'm gonna do is build some walls and create a gate so that we can have a our own parking space. I think parking's gonna be a problem. Um, we just took a trip to Charleston and they had a, they kind of got the same issue. It's just, just not a lot of space in their old downtown and parking's at a premium. They solved that with gates. So I've got to do a little bit of work on our glass painting that'll go to the left here. The guys are talking about starting to install the light fixtures next week as well. Um, yeah, well, let's walk out back. I'll show you. We got all the panel and the electrical pulled. The city came and pulled all the permanent power lines this week. We're gonna get those in. You guys wanna be on video? <laughs> so we, uh, we're gonna hook all that up this week and hopefully get permanent power and get rid of this generator. We'll walk upstairs. And again, we oriented these stairs so that they would magnify your experience going upstairs to, um, to the square before we do that. You can see here we've got the floor vents in. We've got five floor vents that will be underneath our shelving. Really excited about that. It's, it's uh, really coming along. So I've got these great stairs, the two steel plate walls really confine you. On the left, as you come up, will be a glass wall that will be a continuation of the steel plate walls. And uh, that's called a veal wall. It's a steel case wall. So it'll happen on, on, uh, on the side in front of you. And uh, what that'll do is kind of separate the space on the left, which will be our pinup studio. Gosh, it's <laughs> you wouldn't think you'd get winded coming upstairs, it's funny. Um, so we'll have this great conference room and a pinup studio up here. Again, we continued the see-through columns. Sort of interesting. The inspector made us go around and fire caulk around all the penetrations at the floor. It's just, uh, if there's a fire up here, the whole whole block's gonna burn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if anything that you're gonna do is gonna stop it. Um, we do have a little bit of work cleaning on these metal panels. They sat outside so long, somehow they got that white rust on them. I th I'm gonna try some white vinegar. Tried some WD-40, which worked real well on this carbon steel, but just didn't do a single thing on the galvanized. Uh, here's a view of the roof, you guys haven't seen that. Really looks nice. We're not having any leaks up here. We got our two rooftop units. That's the vent that we had to put in there. That vent's gotta be 10 feet from the intake on the on the HVAC, which is which is fine. Got our stair lights in. Um, this is the view to the front. Really looks nice. And again, I, I don't know, on a Saturday like today, I may be working up here. It's extremely quiet. Um, there is some sound from the gun range. It's really interesting and you can kind of hear some cars right now. Of course, we don't have everything we don't have everything um, sealed in yet. Like there's a caulk joint right there. So we're still sort of open to the outside, but um, there's not a tremendous amount of traffic noise. But again, it is Saturday morning. This is our Nana wall that be able to open up, allowing us to just have an open rooftop deck. Really a great view. You can see they got our TP roof, TPO roof on the front canopy. That seems to be doing well. It really looks nice. I was worried about, we've got that gutter detail and um, they did a nice job. It's, uh, it's really holding water out. Of course, you gotta do a little bit of work on these, this guardrail. It's amazing how flexible steel is super strong but it it, it does uh, bend and and move so here's our michael graves blue that we're going to put underneath on the back we got some stub ups there for gas pipes really going to be nice 
had a couple teenagers get in the space. I have no idea how they did it. We started locking the doors up top. I guess what they did when they left, because I didn't see them on the cameras leaving, is uh, they just hopped the roof, which might be how they got up here anyway. So here's the back, the stairs are in front of you that go down to the courtyard. Should be a fantastic experience. We got our chimney here. Got to figure out what to do with that guy. You can see on the right in the distance, they finished the top of the stone wall as well. Really looked pretty good. Or looks pretty good. I'm back and forth on liking how we did these mortar joints. Things are cleaning up. I, I think one of the things that I want to do is um, I want to go through and coat the top of these walls with lime wash to just sort of blend them in a little bit better and then help seal the brick. We'll see how that, how that goes. You can see down through the stairs to the front door. It's just a really neat, really neat uh, viewpoint. We've had a little bit of water entering over here. I can't, I can't figure it out. I think it might have come in from these outlets that we have up front. The uh, parapet of our neighbor was a little bit higher, almost underneath that that lower outlet. I think water might have entered in there and just runs down. But um, I don't see any water now, and we had a big rain yesterday. So yeah, guys. That's that's sort of it for for a tour of the office. This was a very long video. I've gotten aware if you're thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, I sort of make these videos for myself. <laughs> that seems to be the best way to do it. When you're starting off, there's absolutely no production in these things and no scripting. Just walking around. And, uh, and updating you guys. Really nice view right here as well out the back. You'll be able to see who's coming in. So the desk will align through here. Should be fantastic. But yeah, guys, that's it. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Bye.